All right, we've got John from 4J's Catering in the Kitchen with us this morning. Tell everybody what we're making. Uh, it's going to be Chilean sea bass uh, fish tacos. You know, Cinco de Mayo is coming up right around the corner, so it's just kind of Cinco de Mayo uh, Spanish inspired. Um, it's got the blue corn tortilla taco shells, um, yellow saffron rice, black beans, guacamole, all very traditional fresh ingredients. So. Cool. Now, before the, sh the show this morning, you said that more prep time goes into this dish than actual cooking. Yes, yes. This is um, very little cooking, but um, mostly just prep, you know, getting the guacamole together, chopping all the fruits and veggies, um, toasting the taco shells. Really, the only cooking is going to be the beans and the rice. Okay, so we've got the guacamole. What other ingredients do we have here? Uh, we got some dried Mexican chilies, cilantro, Roma tomatoes, uh, fresh chopped mango, and red onion. Um, let's see, the sea bass, I'm cooking it in like a little bit of balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. and sauteing it just in a pan. So it's going to have like a nice little tangy tartness to it to kind of pull off the sweetness from the mango. So are we going to start cooking the fish now? In just a minute, yeah. Okay. I don't want to get it too done. <laughs> okay. Um, about how long do you say from beginning to end does this dish take to make? Um, because of the beans alone, like an hour because you just start them the night before soaking, like you do you know, pinto beans, lima beans, the whole nine yards. Um, so you soak them the night before, start them the next day, and you can do them on low all day long and just kind of like, you know, keep an eye on them, start them on occasion or start them like an hour ahead of time. Okay. Um, other than that, it's just quick, fast, and simple, just chop it and throw it together. Okay, we've got some stuff in the pot right now. What do we got cooking? This is the yellow saffron rice, uh, and it's actually the risotto style. I just like the way it feels and tastes a lot better. And this is the black beans here. Okay. And it's got a little bit of red onion. And I'm actually doing the black beans in chicken broth. It gives them a nice um, flavor as opposed to the, just the blandness of water. I like cooking. I do my rice like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of rice and chicken broth too. Comes out good. Okay. So when we come back next, you're going to start cooking the fish? Yes. Okay. And you want to tell everybody a little bit about 4J's catering? Yeah. Um, it's a local business. It's uh, my local business. I was born and raised here. and. Um, I've been in restaurants for about 10 years and I was just ready to start something on my own and get the food education out that I love to do because um, when I was in high school I did a, a, a TA classes for about three years and I love the education aspect of it so I like getting in there um, very hands-on and you know in the home teaching people you know how to do something different they might not know how to do but want to know how to do. I remember you came on before. You also <coughs> teach children how to cook. Kids, yeah. I love getting kids in the kitchen. They're so much fun and, you know, they are so inspired and imaginative. So that's a really great source for my inspiration too, is, hey, what are your favorite stuff? Well, let's throw it together and see what, you, you know, what comes out of it. I think that's very cool. So we're going to cook our fish when we come back in our next segment and we'll see how the fish tacos turn out. Mr. John Switzer is in the house from 4J's Catering working on some Chilean sea bass tacos. How'd you even think uh, to make a recipe like this? Where, did, where does this stem from? Well, originally it's Cinco de Mayo and I asked, you know, everybody on Facebook and I was like, alright, what do you want to see me do? What kind of inspiration can you get me? And everybody was like, fish tacos, fish tacos, fish tacos. I was like, alright, so I went into Fresh Market and I was like, alright, what, you know, what can you do to inspire me? <laughs> and they said, all right, we'll go through our inspirations thing and look at what we got. So this is what I came up with. I got the fresh red onions, Roma tomatoes, limes, avocados, the Chilean sea bass, um, blue corn taco shells, the tomatillo salsa, chicken broth, and uh, the risotto right here with the yellow Yellow risotto with the saffron. And you picked this all up at Fresh Market, so you know it's going to be market. fresh. You know it's going to be healthy. You did a good job of displaying and getting everything ready right here. One of the things I want to ask you is why sea bass? Why not some other type of fish? Because most fish is going to be um, really brittle and flaky, and I didn't want that. This is going to be almost like a like a tuna steak type. It's going to be very hefty and hold up to what I want it to do. Now you have this on about a medium heat right now. Any tips on cooking your sea bass for the folks out there? Um, just like all seafood, don't overdo it, um, and don't uh, don't underdo it either, obviously. <laughs> but uh, you know, just find that right color. This I marinated in um, balsamic vinegar, uh, a little bit of lime juice, and some paprika to get a little nice smoky and tangy flavor going on. Mm. Um, so that's going to kind of complement the sweetness of the mango too. Now, so. folks are watching the segment right now, and they want to know more about 4J's catering. What can you tell them? Um, well, I mean, give me a call. Uh, we do any and all 
uh, occasions, any event, any planning, um, whatever you need, we can make it happen. What about size? Do you serve 10? Can you serve 100? How big? Whatever you, you want, whatever you got. It's uh, all occasions. All occasions, <laughs> all sizes. 4J's Catering can help you out with that, and they're helping us in the kitchen right now with this Chilean sea bass tacos. We have the recipe online, so go check that out if you would like to follow along. And when we come back, we'll start to put these tacos together. Thanks a lot, John. Back in the kitchen, finishing up our Chilean sea bass tacos with John Switzer from 4J's Catering. Tell us where we're at in the process, John. All right, we're at the plating process, and I just want to make sure everybody's got everything. We got the black beans that was cooked in uh, chick low sodium chicken broth. Got to keep it healthy. It is spring and summertime, so everybody's wanting to stay fit. <laughs> uh, yellow risotto uh, rice with saffron, the guacamole, which is just real simple, tomatoes, onions, some lime juice, through some uh, dried Mexican chilies on there, add some smoky heat, and then we got the fresh mangoes, of course, and then this is a tomatillo verde, which is like uh, basically just a pepper, Mexican pepper sauce. Fantastic. Sauce. All right, well, let's put it all together and see how it turns out here. All right, so this is just going to be like, a, you can do like your own little buffet style, you know, set it up however you want. Sure. And they can do like a walkthrough line, or, you know, you can do the rice and the beans on the side and then mm -hmm. put everything else on there, too. All so right. So everything else is already on this, uh, the tacos here. We've already got it all to, ready to go. Ready to go. Just put the little fish on there. And if you missed it earlier, one thing that I found interesting is why for tacos you were using sea bass specifically. And you told us a little bit about that. What's What was that tip once again? Because this one isn't going to flake and break down like a, mm. a lot of the other typical fish will. Right. You know, salmon's real flaky. Um, it's, it's basically the same consistency as a tuna steak. Okay. And it's going to hold that really well. And if they miss it as well, what did you kind of marinate slash cook the sea bass in? I marinated it slash cooked it in uh, balsamic vinegar, some lime juice, and some paprika to add some uh, tangy smokiness to it. Now, I know balsamic vinegar is not everybody's favorite, um, but it's also going to contrast really well with the uh, mangoes, too. Yeah, mango always brings that, you know, that fresh uh, sweetness, I guess, to it as well for the tacos. Love fish tacos. That looks fantastic. If you want to get in contact with 4J's Catering, how can they do that? Uh, it's uh, always got a phone on me. It's 251-605-8340. Um, I'm always on Facebook, too, mm -hmm. uh, and then 4J's Catering also. All right, sounds fantastic. Give them a call, catering large, small events, any size you want. 4J's Catering can do that for you. 